Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to Eargasms, an audiobook review show where we delve into the world of contemporary and indie romance books that make you go, mmm. Please be aware that all the books that I review contain adult content, so you have been warned. And with that said, here we go. Today's review is The Liar by Nora Roberts. The emotional blow that hits 24-year-old Shelby Foxworth after the death of her oh-so-perfect husband Richard is like a Brinks truck uh, colliding with a Nissan Micra. As if the grief of losing her husband wasn't enough, his death kicks over a Pandora's box, releasing a cascade of lies, deceit, betrayal and crippling debt, leaving Shelby dazed, confused and wondering, who the hell did I marry? Four years of being made to feel like a stupid country bumpkin, ashamed of where she came from, who should be grateful that she was the lucky girl plucked from the backwards hillbilly Tennessee small town, rescued from a meaningless life Richard looked down his nose at, taken to live the life of Riley, blessed and educated in all the finer things in life, the best wines, how to throw dinner parties, showered in jewels and live in the most prestigious suburbs with a husband who loves her and a three-year-old daughter, Callie Rowe. God, she's in for a rude awakening. Now realising that everything she thought she knew was a lie their home was in foreclosure the cars were all leased all the jewelry were fake all the jewelry he adorned her with were all fake so shelby finds a safe deposit box full of multiple ids the man she loved wasn't dead no sir he never existed shelby decides to go home back to Tennessee surrounded by the people who loved her where Kelly Rose can finally know what having a family and friends feels like while she finds out what the hell the last four years have been about narrated by January Lavoy January Lavoy is amazing uh, there's no other way that I can describe it she blew me away just give me a minute while I find Gull over a new narrator added to my auto buys where all my salary is going to be going towards. I can't believe all those different voices came out of one lady. Seriously. When narrating, she uses a neutral tone so you are aware that this is narration. That when it comes to dialogue, each and every character has their own accent, their own pitch, their own rhythm, their own style and all their own nuances. Whether it's male, female or child, she is a well-established stage and television prop farmer and this really does come through she is excellent at her craft and i really look forward to listening to more of her work in the romance field it's a real blessing to have such caliber of actors in romance nora roberts is a prolific writer with over 225 books and some of her work obviously has been turned into um, films she's one of the most loved romance writers and is a living legend she writes so many different tropes of romance everyone will be able to find at least one book of hers that they'll enjoy she's a great writer all her books have a beginning a middle and an end no matter how long they are she leaves you wanting more miss roberts was the first author to be in Inducted into the Romance Writers of America Hall of Fame. Her novels have spent a combined 861 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list, including 176 weeks in the number one spot. This is a slow burn, so the first time they actually get down and dirty, it's about halfway through the book. By then, you are invested in these characters and you know these characters, so you are literally at the edge of your seat and it all makes sense. It's just, it just adds to the story it's very descriptive and more romantic than graphic but really suits the tone of the book miss roberts takes us to a place we romantic dreamt sex in the real world would be like before reality bitch slapped us and screamed wake up <laughs> all right this is one of the best all-round audiobooks i've listened to the writing performance production were all outstanding it sets a really high bar for audiobooks this is a great romantic thriller and it's full of suspense you know that michael jackson eating popcorn meme if not go and look it up it's all right i'll wait that was me listening to this book i fell in love with the ridge everyone who lives there i had such a book hangover after this book i hope this one's made into a film as well it's so dang good i felt like crying when i heard the word epilogue 
Why? Why must this end? This is full of suspense, thriller and drama. This is a standalone so you can dive right in. Now for my ratings and by the rest I think you know where this <laughs> rating is going but I'll get on with it anyway. All right, for narration, I give um, Daniel Lavoie a, a 5, a solid 5, not a 4.5, not a 4 point, uh, a solid 5. She is definitely on my one-click list. There's been some goddamn awful narrators in the romance, and uh, you know, I'm not naming any names, but we know it's, some of them have just been, like, ghastly. So I'm over the moon that we now have such calibre of voice actors. The sex is passionate, sensual, and very romantic, so I'll give that a four. The writing is a solid five for me. It's well written, with depth to each character. The world feels real, the people feel real. You know, I just want to go on holiday there or marry somebody so that I can move to the ridge. I love this book so much. You know, the writing and the narration were excellent. One of my favorites so far. I love the cover. We could picture the ridge. It doesn't give too much away. Not like some books where it's got like that muscle bound hottie holding up some kind of implement. Uh, not that that's a bad thing. Sometimes it's a bit nice, but this is more of a slow burn. So it's really fitting for the book. The only thing I can think of that might be a bit negative is that this is 16 hours and 32 minutes and it could put some people who are new to audio off could be a little daunting seeing that but trust me it's really well done and you'll get your money's worth but you'll get a complete story not just a rush to the finish line and then the ending is just there you're just stranded thinking what just happened and so that's it for this edition of the Agasms. Links for the books can be found below. If you have read or listened to it, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please like, comment and subscribe. Please.